Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton. Welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Hey, this video is brought to you by Press Happy. When you're ready to get your WordPress website online, don't hassle with the DIY route. Press Happy, check out our ready-made WordPress websites. I'll put the link in the description box below. Y'all, today we're gonna work on a very quick, great tutorial for you. This is gonna help you have code that lives in your Divi website that's gonna help the bottom part, I'll show you right here, the bottom part always have an updated copyright year. It's probably one of the more annoying things that you have to think about at least once a year to jump back into all of your websites and update that year just to keep it looking fresh. Well, I have the short code that you can drop in to keep that year always functioning properly and it's a set it and forget it type of step. I'm gonna show you right now how to get it done. All right, for those of you who are not running on Divi, I'll give you a link in the description box below where you can easily go get a tutorial, a great tutorial that will show you how to do this on your theme. But for those of you running on Divi, I'm gonna recommend that when you log in, you go into your theme builder and let's go into our global footer, which is very likely where you have your copyright information living or you should. That way you only have to edit it in one spot. So right now I've got my copyright information living down here. This is kind of cumbersome but you've got 2022 living here. Well, on January 1, 2023, this is gonna to have to be some homework for me to come into and change. That's kind of annoying. Divi allows us to use dynamic content. So here's how we're gonna build that out. I want us to go ahead and click a plus to add a new module in this space. And we're gonna go ahead and look for our text module. In this space, I want us to go ahead and do one extra little step. I want us to grab the copyright symbol onto our clipboard. So toggle over into visual mode. We're gonna look right here for this little symbol. This is for special characters. Open that up, look for the copyright sign, and that's gonna drop that in here in our visual mode. I actually wanna copy that. I'm gonna cut it and put it on my clipboard, right? So I just, I highlighted it and I cut it, right? So Command X if you're on a Mac or Control X. I'm gonna cut it, put it on my clipboard now. Now over here on the right side, you're gonna see this cool little dynamic icon. Click on that. And what you're looking for here is a way to call content to appear. And we're gonna use the current date, all right? Before the date appears, we want to paste in that copyright symbol put a space so that there's a little bit of breathing room. Afterward, you wanna put in your legal language. So we're, we're gonna start with a space and put in whatever legal language you'd want. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in kind of what they have right now. And then what we wanna do is, if you notice right now, it's actually displaying the full date. We don't want that, we just want the year. So you'll scroll down just a little bit here and you'll be able to format the date to just being the actual year itself. So that's where we'll actually go ahead and drop in just the letter Y. That's it, and it will put the current year living right there. And I'm gonna click check, and I'm gonna click check. And so you can see it now living there. Up here in this section, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna remove it from the bottom of this because that's not dynamic, that is static. And then I wanna go ahead and be sure that that design is, is in white and kind of that smaller font. So we're gonna go back into that module, go into the design mode, go into the text mode. We're gonna turn that white and we're gonna drop down that font size just a little bit. Let's take it down even to like an 11, I like that. Click that check mark. And then of course you're gonna save. And now when you exit, that will live because we did it inside of our theme builder, global footer, we're gonna click save. Now that will live perfectly at the bottom of our website. If I click refresh, there it is nicely displayed. And that of course will be changing in January of next year. Y'all obviously you're running on the Divi theme. I have an entire playlist dedicated to the Divi theme, all the Divi builder and the cool features that might be in there. 
I'll put a link to that playlist in the description box below or right up here. I hope that helps you. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Come back with me every single WordPress Wednesday. I'll be right here helping you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. All right, y'all. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.